Polls have shown that the average American will spend 36 years in bed over the course of their lifetime. Let's see if these gadgets can make your bedroom fun. First up on our list of gadgets that claim to make your bedroom fun, the Ocean Wave LED Projector. The images of this online looked crazy, so I had to get it and test it for you. So let's unbox it and get inside and see what this thing is all about. Inside this little cardboard sleeve, I found a couple of cables and a little remote control. And there's also an adapter for the power cord. So let's pull the projector out. It's wrapped in plastic, so let's free it from that. It looks like your standard Chinese construction, so let's check out the features. It looks like we gotta get some batteries inside this remote control, and it takes two triple A's, so let's load them up. All right, let's plug the USB cable into the adapter and see if we can get some power to this thing. We'll plug her into the back where there's also a TF or micro SD card slot and an aux input. Giving a press to the power button on the front gives us light and sound. And they came up with some fancy names for the sounds, including forest insect sounds, ocean wave seagulls sounds, flowing water birds sounds, and merry nature sounds none of which you'd find in a bedroom. There's also up and down for volume and forward and back for changing the sounds, all of which can be controlled with the handy remote. But can it make the bedroom fun? That's what we care about. So let's make things dark and find out. Whoa, now that is actually pretty cool. It's actually kind of mesmerizing. It's a moving wave effect and it covers the entire ceiling of the bedroom. And there's seven different light modes can change colors and then you can also pause the effect. Visually, it's awesome. I personally don't care about all the sound effects. I would just shut those off. But I guess if you lower the volume to the right level, you could probably fall asleep to this. So what do you think? Does it make the bedroom fun? I believe it does. So I'm going to give the Ocean Wave LED projector a thumbs up. Next up on our list of gadgets that could make the bedroom fun are the lazy readers. These things claim that you can read at a 90 degree angle, I assume laying on your back and reading a book, but I would be more interested in playing video games or watching TV with them. And they are pretty sturdy, they just look like regular glasses, but they have these mirrors in the front, so let's take them into the bedroom and check it out. Okay, I've never really had a problem watching TV or playing video games in bed, I just prop myself up on a pillow at my preferred elevation like most people do. But I guess if you wanna lay flat on your back, then the lazy readers might do the trick for you. So I'm gonna try them out here and lose the pillow, go flat on my back and uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to work. The problem with this is playing video games is the controller is right in the way of the TV. So, you can go up here, I guess. That doesn't make it very easy. To be honest with you, it's not quite as comfortable as it is just laying back on a pillow. So, now I'm gonna try uh, TV and see if that's maybe a little bit different. Okay, so just as I expected, it's still not very comfortable because your head really isn't at the right angle. Still feels like it needs to be propped up a little bit and straight back, looking straight up, you don't see the TV. Since they're intended to be used for reading, I actually did try that with a book. I really didn't like them and these things are kind of weird looking. I would not wear these to bed. So for a couple of different reasons, I'm sorry, laser readers, you get a big fat stinker. This next gadget claims to make the bedroom fun by preventing you from banging into things when you get out of bed in the dark. Let's see if the claims from the top lid under bed light are true. Popping open the box and looking inside, there's all kinds of stuff. Since this is a two pack, there are two AC adapters and two motion sensors, as well as some adhesive mounts and two remote controls and the LED strips, which are five feet long and they come on these little reels. And of course, an instruction manual to set everything up. 
The motion sensors have a brightness control on them, as well as a delay timer with three different settings and a day or night setting. The remote control looks to be full function with brightness, color, speed, and some basic color presets. So let's pull out the activation strip and head on into the bedroom. I'm going to install just one strip on one side of the bed to test it out. Just like most LED strips, these have the ability to be cut and shortened. So I'll be installing them under the bed, obviously, and on this top edge of the bed frame. Now there's a sticky back that just peels off and you just run the strip, attaching it to the bed frame as you go. The power end of the LED strip gets plugged into the motion sensor and then you give the motion sensor power and let there be light. It appears to be working, so now it's just a matter of mounting the motion sensor where it can see your feet when you get off the bed. Okay, it's dark and the sensor is active and I'm getting off the bed. And sure enough, the LEDs fire up and illuminate my pathway. Testing it again, I noticed a brief flicker when the LEDs come on, but that's not a big deal. I actually think this is a pretty cool setup and it works well and you can do all kinds of things with the colors. So the top LED under bed LED light does make the bedroom fun, so it gets a thumbs up. Now I think would be the perfect time to do a Kip K mini hack bedroom related, of course. You only need four items for this. Some tape, a small magnet, a button cell battery, and a bright diffused LED. Now you may have seen this one before, but I tell you what, I use it all the time. Take the LED and put it around the button cell battery. Make sure you have your polarity right. Add the little magnet, wrap some tape around it, and bingo, you're done. This is perfect for when you're out of town and you don't really know the floor plan of where you're staying. Most bathrooms don't have a lot of surfaces that can hold a magnet, but the small screw by most electrical outlets will grab hold of this little nightlight. It's just bright enough to let you know where the bathroom is in the middle of the night. And this thing will run for about four days on this button cell battery. So there's a quick little Kip K mini hack for you. And now back to our last bedroom fun gadget. This is clearly the largest gadget I've ever unboxed and tested, but I had to do it. It's called the bed jet. It's a cooling and warming device for beds. Let's open up this big box and see what's inside. Right on top is a hefty instruction manual on how to set this thing up. And there's also a bunch of plastic pieces along with a remote control. And hidden down below this cardboard insert is the bed jet. So let's grab this thing and set it free. And this is a serious futuristic looking gadget. The bed jet remote is pretty cool and slick looking. I figured out how to set up the adjustable height mattress mount. So I went ahead and did that. Then it's time to head into the bedroom and complete the bed jet assembly. It seems to be pretty straightforward. The adjustable mattress mount just slides under your mattress at the foot of the bed and runs flush up against the mattress. Then there's the stretchable and bendable air hose that just snaps in place in the mount. Then the air nozzle snaps into the air hose. Then the adjustable hose gets stretched out as needed and you just plug it into the output port of the bed jet. I did have to remove a couple of links in the mount in order for the air nozzle to sit flush with the top of the bed. Then to keep all the air in, you have to pull your sheet up and over the air nozzle. And then there's little clips that hold it in place and tuck everything in good. The bed jet can be installed on any size bed and can also be configured for couples or single sleepers. So let's see if this thing really does cool or heat the bed. Firing it up with the remote, I can actually see the top comforter raising as the airflow goes through the bed. Time to hop in and test it out. All right, so let's check out this bed jet. I'm under the sheet, which is over the nozzle of the bed jet. And granted, it's right in the middle of the day, but I can feel a cool breeze under the sheet. And having our bedroom on the far side of the house, away from our main air conditioning unit, this room tends to be a little bit more on the warmer side and then in the winter, a little on the cooler side. But right now this feels good. It's actually, uh, it's breezy and cool in bed. Now, as much as I don't want to do it, I do have to try the heat mode because at some point it'll get cold here in Florida. So press heat and see what happens. 
Yeah, I immediately feel a change from the cool to the warm. Yeah, I'm gonna be sweating here in a minute. <laughs> so, oh yeah, now it's getting warm. Definitely getting warm. The bed jet cools and heats. The other cool thing is the remote. You're too hot, you're too cold, you can adjust it using the remote. You can also adjust the airflow more or less, and it has a little built-in timer function that it'll go off after a certain period of time, because once you're snoozing, you're cruising. So this is the Bed Jet 2, but there's a Bed Jet 3 coming out, which is, I guess, smaller and sleeker and has a new look. And it's got more features and technology, and it'll have programmable functions in the remote and smart home connectivity. So I tell you what, the Bed Jet does what it says it's going to do, and I think it makes the bedroom more fun. So it gets a thumbs up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing testing of bedroom gadgets. And if you like what you see, click the screen for more of my videos. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.